It is time, dude. What is the meaning of life? And why is it a dime at all? Why is it a dime? Dude, that's fucking true, <laughs> man. You know how, how many abortions I could create with this thing? Oh, no. <laughs> it's like the perfect hook. It's like a, you know, like a homemade uh, abortion, you know, like the uh, clo- clothes hangers. Yeah, that's the one. This makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. You get off on oh. that or what? Making me uncomfortable. A Uncle Boobs. Bit. That used to be my thing. That used to be like the most enjoyable thing for me. Yeah? Just making people uncomfortable. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. So. It's funny because I'm actually going to use this fucking hoe. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, we should. And as we sleep, we ponder what is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of life, Uncle Boobs? Can you tell me as a young hmm. nephew who doesn't know See. anything? What is the it's meaning of life? Who doesn't know anything? Yeah, I'm trying to think about it in the context of what the hell you would tell a younger person. I mean, you can just mm. answer a question for yourself too, if you want, because ultimately the answer is probably going to be different for everybody. Well, most people, you could very easily say the meaning of life is maximizing pleasure and reducing uh, inconvenience. So very hedonistic shit. Whoa! It wasn't me. Don't worry about it. it. Didn't happen. What did you do? I uh, gave the house a little remodeling. Hey. I must have been lagging because I ran away from him. Anyway. It's a good thing it's only just a couple pieces. Oh, the window. I broke the window. Oops. Dude, there's so many different ways to look at the meaning of life. You could be like, oh, I got to help the most amount of people. I got to do the most amount of good. You, you could look at it like, oh, I got to go to support myself and my family. That's the meaning of life. You could be like, I got to make myself as wealthy as possible. I got to just, just chill and have fun whenever I can. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're all, they're all pretty much the same. Just choose one. It's, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm fucking looking at bamboo. So how about for you, Uncle Boobs? What's the meaning of life for you? The meaning of life for me? Well, yeah. I'm not, like, theistic or anything. I don't believe in any, any gods or anything. So that one's already off the table. Um, but it is pretty juicy for people who are theistic. That is, like, so good. I think religion should be more popular. I definitely don't like where things are going, but that's okay. I have sort of an interesting nuanced take on that whole conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. My meaning of life. Yeah. Mm, Well, the main thing is just to make this bitch as fruitful as possible. So with all the AI shit coming out, it's not far-fetched at all to think we'll be able to achieve, like, life extension. Mm, So... My meaning of life is living long enough to live as long as possible. Gotcha. Which doesn't re- doesn't really sound like a meaning, but that has meaning to me. Because the further we go in the future, the more we'll be able to do. And I Here you go. am Here. a huge fucking... Iron pickaxe for you, buddy. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to get rid of these stone ones. I'm going to leave my diamond pickaxe here. Okay. Because... I don't want to die with it until I get some, like, armor or something. Yeah, well, I don't want to die with it, it period. Yeah. But well, I don't want to take it into a cave and die with it without even having armor. Did you go in our mind for the, for the cave that you found? Or yes. Or? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm coming down I'm there. about to go down there again. Anyway. Yeah, there was a time where I was like, uh, it's important to do as much good as possible for as many people as possible. But in realistically... Not everybody can fucking do that Mr. B shit and stand how horribly everyone's going to treat them. Because you see how everyone treats Mr. B. So there's so many people that think he's like the devil or some shit. Mm-hmm. Even though he just he just does charity shit and all this other... I don't know. He's really good. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. He, do, he does more than anybody who criticizes him. 100%, dude. 100%. Okay. So, so it's up this way. And people might say, well, don't just do good things out of the goodness of your heart. And the, uh, blah blah blah, right? What's this? Oh, okay. But <laughs> uh, I tried that. That it was. It's not great. It's not great. Why is that? Would you say to do things out of the goodness of your heart? Would you say? I mean, little things are fine. Like I don't know, holding the door open for like an old person, or like helping them carry their groceries to their car. That's that's fine. Yeah, that's probably good. But going out of your way to like structure your life around helping people is. Is, is going to make, make you suffer, unfortunately. Because the appreciation you get for helping people is often uh, people just taking advantage of your niceties, people taking, uh, finding a way to make Ooh. it about them 
Sorry, I'm trying to play the game and talk. Jesus. No, you're good. You're good. Die, skeleton. The meaning of life for him wasn't too much of anything. Same. <laughs> oh, man. No, I mean, kind of about the whole, like, helping topic thing. I mean, I think that's going to be super subjective, too, right? Because, um, like, for yeah, some maybe people, it's... maybe you don't mind if, uh, if you don't get appreciation or recognition of it. It's kind of one of those things like giving a gift. It's almost better for the person who gives the gift than it is for oh the person who God. receives it, you know? I have, I have some, dude, I, you know, giving gifts, pretty cool, right? Yeah. But I started to like, I don't want to do it because every time you give a gift nowadays, everyone's just like, oh, you didn't have to. Oh, I feel so bad you got me this. Oh, I feel so bad you spent something on me. Oh, I feel so bad you did something for me. Like, is everything that I do for oh, someone going to them feel horrible? Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. No, for I can't. Sure. I can't stand it. Like, oh, if you if you're really just gonna feel bad, then I guess I should just shut it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bad way for them to phrase it. Yeah, it's not it's, a good way like to show fucking, appreciation. Yeah. Yeah, it's like everyone that I try to give gifts to is like that. Man, that's crazy. Got some unappreciative little rats. <laughs> I mean, of course they obviously think they're trying to be nice about it. Right. Right. But, right. Right. But just don't don't try to fucking. Fr be like oh you didn't have to blah 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 that, it's like that's i know that weird, that maybe that's some old ass courtesy shit but maybe it's kind of it's kind of cringe you now yeah no for sure because it's like i know i didn't that's why it's a gift you know and not a yeah. payment or something yeah. it's just done out of love you know life isn't so like hard to live now that everything is uh transactional like a gift has a hidden meaning or anything life isn't like that anymore we don't we don't live in the west or you know even further back yeah although some people would leave you to believe that every single thing you do has an ulterior motive which is not true some people do things just because they're being nice you know yeah so for you the meaning of life for yourself is extension extension maximum yeah. duration basically yeah he wants uh oh what's it called what's the pickaxe thing oh shoot Want you want that to, durability. I want durability enchantments, yeah. Do you need help killing them? Oh, they're fighting each other. Nice. Sweet. Hey, homies. Oh, nice. What the hell? All right, my ping's pretty high for this. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's okay. I'll for just combat. play safer. Not so good? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I'll just play safer. So, what was I thinking? All right. An, uh, al an alternative to me saying that I don't want to help people in big ways is helping people indirectly is way better than helping people directly. I found more diamonds. People... Oh, Dude, that's oh baby. Oh. There's a creeper. There's so you. many creepers. There's dude. a creeper. Ooh, he did explode, but I'm okay. Yeah, there's a zombie coming up on your ass. Nice. Oh, that sounds good. Like... Is that my chocolate oh, daddy yeah. finally? Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for him He's to got show that up. <laughs> got Oh, there's so many creepers, bro. Run behind you, behind you. You got the I diamond? I saw a diamond. Yeah. That's, that's the one I, I was talking about. For. Oh. Yeah. You got it, though? Wait, yeah. where are you? Uh oh. There's I'm that creeper. trapped over here, but it's okay. Oh, there's so many creepers, dude. Ah! Wait, did you try to follow me? Okay, good. No, good, good. no, no, no. I didn't. Okay, I'm about to knock this guy. Oh, nice. You go got on. him. Good job. Easy. Good job, dude. All right. I'm trying to light up that cave slowly but surely. Yeah. All right. So, so, so here, that it doesn't sound too bad. The alternative to not helping people in big ways directly is helping people indirectly. Like, it is way safer to help people if they don't know you're doing it. Oh, yeah, I got gotcha. Because there's so much bad shit that can happen out of just trying to be nice. It's just, it just feels so unworth it. So extremely unworth it. But if you do it for through things like oh. charities, pretty based, or like social programs. I know, I know that I don't, <laughs> you have your, your whole healthcare thing ah. over there. I don't know, I don't know what that's all about. But like social programs where you pay for people's healthcare or everyone in the country pays for people's healthcare so that they don't die for dying right yeah stuff like that or mm -hmm. yep which we do like have that, that to a degree here um but it's oh, not the well, same as good. like a country like uh i don't know canada where it's uh for everyone you know for here yeah. it's like there's income requirements and stuff like that yeah i'm sure it's like that here too who knows though i don't really look at it yeah it's not really the highlight of my day <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can probably hear my space bar as I'm talking. It's very squeaky. No. I Actually, maybe a little bit. Yeah. I didn't notice yeah. it until you mentioned it, but then I did for a second. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right, what the you. hell were we talking about? The meaning of life, brother. The yeah. meaning of life. Oh. 
I don't really too much to say about it. Other people struggle with it, but I just, I just don't. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think it's important that there is a meaning to anything. Interesting. Very interesting, indeed. Like there doesn't have to be meaning to everything. I think that's true that there doesn't have to be meaning to everything, but I think there should be meaning to something. You know, um, like for me, um, because it sounds like that was kind of the end of thought for you, huh? Yeah, I was making bread. Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, there's, there's quite a few meanings to life. Like a lot of things I hold very important. Um, and kind of going back to the whole like religion topic for me, um, I really don't like religion per se, because I think religion on the whole, um, people use it as like a means of control, you know? And there's oh, been yeah. a lot of heinous stuff done in the name of religion, you know? But, um, I do believe in Jesus though. And, yeah. but for me, that's not a religion. It's a relationship. Um, and I think that you can see a lot of evidence of a creator, you know, I mean, just looking at like the order of the universe, um, order doesn't come from chaos. Order comes from order and intelligence doesn't come from insanity. Intelligence comes from intelligence. And there's a lot of evidence of, um, very intelligent design in the universe, even just in stuff like DNA, you know? Some of the most complex things people have made is run on binary code. Our DNA is, it's four, four different things, you know, the proteins and stuff. Super intricate and humans haven't made anything like it yet. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, even looking at like the stars and stuff like that. Um, do you know like the concept of redshift? Redshift? Yeah. Like how that whole thing No, works. never heard of it. So anything that's in a wave form, um, light or sound... As it's moving away from you or coming towards you, it changes the way that wave operates. So, like, if you're looking at um, a light, as as things are moving away from you, it stretches out the light waves. Um, so, oh, as yeah. things are moving farther apart, um, you can see, like, stars that are, like, red stars, you know. And basically, through looking at the universe, you can see everything is kind of, like, drifting apart from one center point, you know. Which people who um, accept... Bang evolution as um the way life was formed right would say that's the big bang and i would say being someone who believes in jesus um and looks at the bible as like a love letter from god to us um that it says it right in the scripture that god spoke let there be light what is light energy boom and he spread out the heavens it says that in the scripture which was written way before a lot of astronomy was even like a thing you know, and there's a lot of stuff like that in the Bible where things we find out with modern technology is backed up and like evidenced in, in the scriptures, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's kind of like a lot of reasons I have to believe in Jesus. It's, there is a, a big aspect of faith though too, and it's got the ring of truth for me. And I think that's a big important thing that with any um, worldview like that, that you read it and, you know, it's got to have the ring of truth to it. You know, don't force yourself to believe in something just to have a, mean, a meaning. You know, it's got to have the ring of truth. But so that's a big thing for me is um, my relationship with the Lord. That's a big thing. It drives a lot of who I am and, and the values I hold, you know, um, with like the way I treat people and um, the things I find important. Another big thing for me, though, is family, um, you know, love and family, spending time with family. Like that's even even if I was like somehow not um, a believer in Jesus, like, I think that would be my meaning for life is, uh, spending time with family. And that doesn't just include blood family. That includes people who are close to me too. You know, like I would consider you a brother. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Uncle Boots. I mean, heaven, yeah. Heaven, yeah, dude. Because <laughs> heaven is good, hell is bad. I got Uncle Boops saying that a while ago, maybe. But, um. Uh, yeah, I mainly just say it around you because it's like a it's funny. good thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's good. It's funny, cause yeah. Um, to butt in real quick, of course. Going back to the going back to the thing where he's like, ah, uh, and you know it's you. Holy shit! I'm so distracted by breaking grass. <laughs> like we should be breaking bread. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Hey, that's funny. Yeah, nothing you said necessarily means that uh, your God didn't just make the Big Bang and what we call the Big Bang, right? Oh, or, I see what you're th saying. Yeah, so it could still be the same thing. Yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah, I see what you're saying for sure. Yeah. Um, Same with evolution. He could have just made evolution. Yeah, according to the Bible, uh, yeah, I don't though, know the he, Bible stuff. He did not, yeah. 
oh. beings were created as they are, you know? Like yeah, he what created if animals like, and he created birds and stuff. It does not just say pulled? that uh, they evolved. There is evidence of microevolution, but I don't, I don't think there's really a lot of evidence of macroevolution. But that's a whole kind of like different conversation, though. It yeah. kind of gets a little bit away from like the, the meat and potatoes of what we're talking about with the meaning of life, you know? Yeah, I'm just thinking like, what if he just pulled a sneak he wanted to just didn't put it in the book? Or is he like all truthful, no lies? Definitely all truthful, no lies, yeah. Oh, okay. It's not to say that we know everything, though. Um, we can't know everything that God knows, but um, he's pretty clear about, like, how he designed the, the universe. Gotcha. It was made in seven days. Well, six days. And on the seventh day, he rested. So, yeah. And this video is quite long. Which is okay. Um, I feel like that's that's part of the charm. Um, it's just, like, our, uh, our conversation and, you know, going back to a slow pace, you know. Kind of how in yeah. like the, the last episode, I believe it was, we talked about being addicted to dopamine. You know, that's part of our charm is we don't have the Mr. Beast style jump cuts and uh, all the crazy editing and stuff. To uh, viewers watching this right now, if it makes us more money, we 100% will have that in the future. So don't be, <laughs> like, don't be like we're sticking true to our roots and shit because obviously we need to live our lives and gather resources for our own, you know, <laughs> people. Yep. <clears throat> That goes back to my meaning of life, bro, family. Yeah, um, exactly. That is why I work two jobs. Like, I'm a manager for a delivery company. Working hard all the time, every spare minute that I'm not spending with family or working is spent working on YouTube. So That's true. That's true. I've seen it firsthand. He's been at this for over 500 days. Yep. Our entire Snapchat have, streak. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we have a literal day counter for how long we've been doing this shit. Which is pretty awesome, I think. We're yeah. just finally starting to see some growth, so keep it coming, y'all. The mean My meaning yeah. of life is gaining subscribers, so subscribe, you little rat. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Subscribe, motherfucker. <laughs> subscribe, motherfucker. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I finished all of Dexter. It was so good. Yeah. Well, some parts were like, what the hell, but it's okay. Yeah, nice. I like Dexter. Dexter. All right, bye.